So, let's talk about incontinence. Yeah, I said it, incontinence. It's like the Voldemort of bodily functions, the thing that shall not be named. But you know what? I'm here to change that stigma. Because let's face it, we've all been there. Maybe not all of us, but a lot of us. And if you haven't, just wait. It's like a rite of passage into adulthood. I remember the first time it happened to me. I was at a party, having a great time, laughing and dancing like there was no tomorrow. And then out of nowhere, I sneezed. And that's when it happened. A little leak, just a tiny one, but enough to make me panic. I mean, what do you do in that situation? Do you run to the bathroom and hope no one notices? Do you pretend like nothing happened and hope for the best? It's a real conundrum, let me tell you. But you know what? I've come to embrace my incontinence. I mean, it's like having a superpower. I can clear a room with just one sneeze. I can make people scatter faster than a squirrel on a power line. It's like my own personal force field. And let me tell you, it's a great way to get a seat on the bus. And don't even get me started on the products out there for incontinence. I mean, who knew there were so many options? From pads, to diapers, to fancy underwear that looks like it came straight out of a Victoria's Secret catalog. I mean, who says you can't be sexy and incontinent at the same time? So let's change the stigma about incontinence. Let's talk about it openly and honestly. Because let's face it, we're all human. We all have our little quirks and imperfections. And if a little leak here and there is the worst thing that happens to me, then I'll take it. Because at the end of the day, it's just a part of who I am. And I wouldn't change it for the world.